Hey guys, I'm Tree and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna talk about Twitch tags. So first of all, what is a Twitch tag? Uh, you can search for certain tags uh, on Twitch and then just get related things. One of the most common one is English. You can search for only English streamers so you wouldn't get like those Russians or German streamers. Because, well, I can't understand those. <laughs> but there are also a lot more and I want to talk about them with you in this video. First of all, which tags are available? Well, you can see which tags are available if you go to all categories by browsing here and then click on the filter one. You can see which, which uh, game categories are in here. So the, these are game tags which are automatically assigned if you uh, play a certain game. So like if you play Fortnite, um, the, the tag shooter will automatic ap automatically appear. You can search for those tags for just shooter. So if you go in here and click on shooter, you will only get shooter kind of games in here and not, I don't know, Stardew Valley or something like that. So what we can also do is search for only streamers that are streaming in English. And we can do that by just typing English here. And these are all the streamers that are having the hashtag English. Um, you get this one if you, um, in your dashboard, say that your stream is in English. If you say it's in another language, it will automatically give you that tag. So these streamers are streaming in English. Uh, obviously, they're ranked on how many viewers they have. So if you want to find some smaller people, this is not really helpful. What you can also do is go here, go to Fortnite and then uh, actually adding the f English filter and then you can get only people that are playing Fortnite and streaming in English. So let's say we, we are in the Fortnite category where there's tons of people streaming this game. And well, we, we cannot find people with, well, let's say 10 viewers because we need to scroll and we, what feels like scrolling. So what we can do is we can add an other filter and you can see all these filters here that have something to do with what the what the streamer picks to be their tag. And let's say I want somebody who is um, nice and is going to answer all of the questions I have. Ask me anything uh, tag is good for that. So if we if we select that, we can just see f uh, four streamers here that have the ask me anything uh, tag on, which are actually people that are five, three, two and one viewer. Which means that this is a really easy way to find smaller streamers. You can do this with any tag though. Uh, for example, um, you can say um, multiplayer. See, that, that one is like kind of has something to do with, 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 um, with Fortnite. So I thought that might be an easy one. Um, it, it, it's DM, so it's, it's pretty far away. Multiplayer. So multiplayer. How many people come up now? It's, it's a lot more than ask me anything, but um, we can see that the highest one is 304 instead of, what was it, 15k? So if we scroll down a bit more, we're getting towards the people with 20 viewers, at least in Fortnite, really quickly. Uh, in other games where there are way less streamers, you would obviously have a lot less here already. But we can, we can scroll a bit and we're already at the people that have 10 views. And... That is pretty handy, I think, to get two people that are small. Uh, like I said, there are thousands, well not thousands, but there are lots of um, <laughs> of tags here. Uh, some don't really have to do anything with this game, but just with other games in particular, like 3D printing and Fortnite, that would be really weird. So this guy just basically did his tags wrong. <laughs> this is not 3D printing. I mean, the only way that 3D printing on Fortnite would work is that if you print a Fortnite figure, I guess. But then you would be in the creative uh, category if you did it right. Okay. <laughs> so we now know how to search with tags. So if you're a viewer, you can stop right now. Uh, but if you're a streamer, I'm going to explain how to actually use those tags. So what you got to do is you click on this and then go to dashboard. Okay. So what we see here is my dashboard and uh, what you do if you start streaming, you give your stream a title, right? Uh, and you give it a category, which is the game. Or maybe if you're a creative streamer, you do crafts or creative or cooking or something like that in there. Then there is another thing here that is called tags. Like you see, I have a couple of tags selected already because, well, 
I I have my current well my last stream settings here. You can have up to five tags. Uh, English doesn't count as one. Also, does the game tag platformer in this case doesn't count as one. So uh, this counts as four um, tags. You can delete them by just clicking on the cross. Clicking on the cross will get them get them away. You can search them in here, so you can, if you want the multiplayer one we were talking about, you can also type mult, and then they will come up, multiplayer. So now everybody who search for multiplayer will find my stream. Or at least I will be in the list. <laughs> if they're gonna find me, that's, well, I don't know if they're gonna find me, they need to click on me and stuff. But they have more chance to find me right now. Like the one I was just talking about, uh, Ema asked me anything. There were just four people streaming in that category, and I think it's nice that if people have a question for me, I can answer them. And I I will just answer almost everything if people ask that in the stream, and if it's not rude at least, you know? So if I pick this tag, if somebody is searching for uh, Ask Me Anything, they will almost always find my stream. The only thing that matters then, because there were just four people streaming it, the only thing that matters is that I have the best thumbnail and that I have ba I have the best title and, well, that people just click on me out of the, the other ones. But if there are just like 10 people there, there's a big chance, if you have a great stream, that they will click on your stream instead of the others. I don't think a lot of people are searching for the text right now, but I think it's just a small thing to do and um, you should just take every opportunity to get people in your stream and if it's just adding a few words here in the dashboard will help you. You should do that. It just costs like a minute and maybe five more people will come into your stream. And I think that's really worth it. So I hope you ha you guys understand what the tags are and how to use them right now. And thank you for watching. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, If you want, give me a subscribe because I'm trying to get to YouTube partnership and I need your help because, um, well, it's pretty hard to get there and I, I can't do it without you. So help me, please. <laughs> thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.